welcome to another Purveyor of Light, Lightroom Quick Tip. Uh, today we've got a really uh, fun one to do. Uh, one of the most confusing for most people just getting into photo editing is understanding how to do dodging and burning. And uh, it does take a lot of practice to get it right, to make it look natural and uh, do face contours and so forth. But what I'm going to show you today is that there's a way in Lightroom, okay, that you can do dodging and burning with absolutely no talent whatsoever, okay? So just to cover over the basics of what dodging and burning is, I'll just go ahead and grab an adjustment brush here, and I'll uh, move the uh, exposure up, and then what I do is I'm going to look for the highlighted areas, which are just naturally the light areas, and I'm going to go over them and I do this wherever there's a light area and a dark area right and then I would turn around and make a new brush and then I would come in and instead of doing a thing I would drop the exposure and then I would do the the shadow areas uh, to enhance and contour the face uh, so you can make more dimensions now when you get the hang of it you know it's a lot of work going in and, and detailing in a photo what i'm going to show you today is you can automate this whole process in lightroom and it does a pretty good effect so let me go ahead and reset the photo okay so we removed all those adjustments now i'm going to teach you here a graduated filter okay and i want you to stay off the photo and then drag out to the sides okay this way when we put it in a graduated filter this way it's affecting the entire image okay so you can see here that if I move the exposure rubber we're doing over the entire image is being impacted okay so now for demonstration purposes I'm going to over exaggerate this so you can see this because uh, sometimes just the effect doesn't show up well on videos so I'm going to switch over and now I'm going to limit where this effect takes place by using the range mask and I'm going to select luminance and this way on the range I can adjust the range of where it's being affected on the photo and I could tell it more or less only affect the highlights and that's exactly what we would do for dodging and burning okay so I can come in and select the areas there and I'm going to back it off now because I don't want it to be too much say about a little over one I'll make a new new graduated filter and do the same thing pull it out from the edge of the photo and this time I will now again range mask on luminance and I will drag it the other way. This way we're limiting it to the shadows. Okay. And back that off like that. And done. Okay. So now you can see this before and after. Before and after now I wouldn't do this necessarily this this heavy-handed I would actually back it off a little bit but uh, to show you the idea so we didn't have to go in and individually brush each area where we wanted to burn in where we wanted to dodge in uh, we didn't have to go through all that work we let the range mask automatically do that for you and so what you see does a pretty good job so until next week, you guys take care.